I put Windows on my MacBook. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> it's it's now official. Uh, you can use Windows on ARM <clears throat> in parallels, at least right now. But it runs pretty... It, I was surprised how snappy it was. I was able to play Solitaire just, you know, like that. It was great. Just, <laughs> no, no problem. Free cell, let's not, let's not lose our minds with free cell, but <laughs> Solitaire. Previously on Twit, This Week in Google... Attorney Kathy Gellis was actually in the courtroom yesterday during oral arguments. The Supreme Court case, Google versus Gonzalez. The future of the Internet hangs in the balance. We were expecting a very hostile audience that was holding on to a lot of the myths about 230. We ended up getting a bench that was surprisingly informed and seemed to get it and seemed to understand what was at stake. Tech News Weekly. Mark Gurman from Bloomberg talks all about Apple's progress, the progress that they're making with glucose tracking with the Apple Watch. It uses a technology called um, optical spectroscopy, as well as a new chip technology called silicon photonics. It's using lights and lasers that shoot light into what is known as interstitial fluid, right? And it's able to then reflect back to sensors beneath the watch. And what's reflecting is the concentration of glucose within that fluid. All about Android. Our good friends at Huawei um, actually are working on a uh, working on a new wearable. Uh, and Huawei you know, working on a wearable. A Huawei working on a wearable. Uh, they're called Watch Buds, uh, and it's a smart watch with earbuds that dock inside the watch itself. If you missed Twit this week, you missed a lot.